welcome back to London Land, and today I have a special guest with me. This is my grandma. Um, everybody meet Janice. Um, she is literally the best human in this whole entire world. So, and today I'm going to show you some hairstyles to do on short hair. Um, her hair is about to her shoulders in the back but it's a little shorter up front so that's gonna be a little bit hard but i think i can get through it so then first you're gonna spray her hair one two three one here one um two here and then three here in the back and then you're gonna spin her around so one two and three okay so then I'm gonna make sure all her hair is behind her ears. And then I'm going to take this back piece about this much and then pull it up just like that. Make sure no other hair is sticking to it. And then take your brush and then just brush that out really, really quick. And then make, once you've got that top part, get the sides like that. And then and then part it like so the front of her head, her nose, I go up from there and then I go back and then that's how I know where my even part is. So then after I try to part it with my fingers, I take the brush and then I brush it out from there. Make sure it's even. So for this hairstyle, I'm gonna try to make a whole new you, like, so in the back, it's kind of wavy, but in the front, you can see it's straight, like perfectly straight. Mm -hmm. And then it's also shorter in the front than the back. I know. And then, I'm going to turn her back around. And then after you brush out that part, take the front piece. Take it all back till you got all the short hair in the front so what I do is take it by her shoulders and then I just pull all along her back and then all the short hair just kind of stays where it is so that's how I know that I have all the short hair so then I take it like that brush it out and then I pull it back and then I pin it with a clip. So take it back and pin it with a clip. Just like that. And then with the other side, you're going to take it, same thing, make sure you get all the short hair. Remember at the shoulders, pull back. And then all the short hair is still there. And then comb the rest back. And then, of course, you won't get all of the short hair, but that is totally fine. Just get all the short hair that you can. Take another clip and then pin it back just like that. Just like the other side, let's see if I can really get a pin. So once you pin it in, make sure it is secure. And then with the clips, make sure all the hair is brushed back. And then take one of the 
the, the sides and then braid it like and then braid it just like that. I like your tie-dye artwork on the wall. <laughs> and then after you're done breathing it, clip it back with the same clip, just like that. And then clip it, make sure it's secure. Or you could just clip it like that to make sure that the braid is secure, but I for this hairstyle, you're going to need to clip it back like that. See that? Just like that, and then take the other side. Guess what? We're gonna do the same thing. So then, once, once you took the other side, let me spin her this way now so you can see. Braid that side Don't stand in front of the camera. again. So then once you braid that side, you are going to pin it back just like the other one, just like it. So then once you braid it, like how I'm doing. When you have no more hair left, pin it back, but you also want extra hair left. Just like that. See, I have extra hair. And then that will be your guide of where you pin it at the end of the braid. Pin it just like that. And then once you have two pins like that, take the rest of the hair and then I have, like, my grandma has, like, these, uh, it's kind of like a hair tie clip headband, so you can unplug these things from each other, and then it opens like this, you put it under the hair, like this. And these are actually perfect for short hair if you don't like to wear hair ties. It's really easy, but you might need somebody to help you with it. And then pin those in just like that. And then take it and twist it. Just like that. And then take it at the end of the twist and then pull it out like that. Ugh. So, and then once you do that, your hair should be curly. And then, um, my grandma has like these natural waves and so I'm just gonna spray the back one, two, and three, four, but just how you we did it in the beginning, but four at the bottom. One, two, three, four. And then brush that out, trying not to mess up your clips. So now you see that most of the waves are gone. And then take the back side, but not all of it. So use the braids as your mark. So take the front of the braids like that. Take it like that and then like that. And then cut it in half so it's kind of like a half up, half down. And then you're going to braid that after you brush it out if it is kind of wonky. So 
and then once you break that, I'm to turn it this way so you can see it from a side angle. So then after you braid the back sides like that, take one of these giant clips and then pin it up like that. And then after you pin it up, you have the rest of the hair. And then with that, you're going to take it and then take this other big clip and then um and then take it like that and then pin it up like that's just like the other braid. And then tuck the extra under that other clip. And then your hair is done. And this is for like a hot summer front piece. And it keeps it all off your neck. Oh, lovely. And your ears, cuz, and then the sides of your neck. And that is the final hair design. Oh, thank you. There's the mirror. You like it? I think I could go out on the town looking like this, too. Not just a hot summer day. Let me feel. Oh, yes. Very good. <clears throat> thank you, everyone. Thank you for watching another episode of London Land with a special guest. I really enjoyed having her here today. Um, please subscribe and ring the bell down below. And I'll see you again next time. Bye.